We have some social media questions. Kathy Glowacki on the Larry King Now blog. How important is it to talk openly and publicly about these crimes in an effort to find them? Absolutely. The public has been my biggest partner. I mean, we have caught guys in 45 countries that were uncatchable by cops. I mean, to catch 17 off the FBI's 10 most wanted, a private citizen, with my partners, the public, the public is the reason. I, I believe for years the vast majority of people are good. If you show them how to do something the right way, if you give them a chance to do it, They'll do the right You're thing. You're not saying cops are doing a bad job. No, they just overwhelm, Larry. Yeah, they just, I, too I much. mean, just, they, you know, with 600 murders last year in Chicago, next murder, the bottom one drops off the list, and they've, they've had that many murders for the last four years. Kathy also asks, is there a new innovation you'd like to see created in order to quell child abductions and murders? Well, education, I think, is the key. You know, they're, they're, we now have the Adam Walsh Act where we have sex offender registry. We have facial recognition at airports, and I, I put the bad guys on the list. We not only have the watch list for bad guys of terrorists, nor, we have the watch list of, of those kind of guys. I think, it, I, I think it's, it's time that the public said we... Until we can figure out a way to cure these guys because it's, they're, the rate of recidivism recidivism is so high. I'm profiling a guy on this show that admitted to molesting 29 kids in and out of jail, getting out there. We, we have to keep them in longer. We have to keep them away from children longer, the serious repeat offenders, and we have to get better at tracking them. The U.S. Marshals say that there are 100,000 level three sex offenders who have either broken their parole or probation or cut off their ankle bracelets at large right now in this country. You used to come on our show and show pictures. All the, I, I will never forget, before I ever did America's Most Wanted, I used to come to your little studio there in Crystal City when it was the on Larry the King radio show, and you took calls from all over, and we talked about the missing children's bill that would force the FBI to put kids in the NCIC. That simple bill. You helped me get that passed because I'd come on your show late at night, come up in that elevator, <laughs> and you'd get thousands of calls, and I would say to people, write your two senators, you remember the I House. Know very well. FBI opposed the missing children's bill in the, in the Justice Department, too. We don't want to get in the kid business. It's mostly runaways. It's too dark. All the bad excuses. Missing children's bill got passed, and you helped me do that way before anybody ever thought of America. when you went to Washington, you came on our show. Yep, yep. At Jane Paxio 22 on Twitter, have you ever worked with psychic mediums when someone has disappeared? Don't believe in them. When Adam was missing, 60 psychics showed up to the Hollywood Police Department, most of them to get their names in the paper and to get, you know, the read horoscope readers. Every one of them said he was alive, he was dead. Portia Ramsey on the Larry King Now blog. Is there a president who you think made the most impact on the protection of children from predators? I would say Ronald Reagan. In the beginning, he helped us get the missing children's bill passed. He became a great friend. He helped us create that my wife started the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children out of our garage. He made it the big, huge building it is now with 350 employees and five branches. The two Bushes were good. Bush father was fantastic, yeah. and George was the one who pushed through the, the uh, Adam Walsh Act to create the sex offender registry. All the presidents were good, but those three really stood out. Gene Ben Torres on Facebook. What are some of the most innovative changes you've seen in criminology in recent years? Well, on, on the side of the exploitation of children, of course, it took me three years, but we have the Amber Alert now. Got that passed, and why it took three years, no one understands. I must, I yeah. had to testify 15 times. The first year it was passed, we saved 117 kids because those pictures went on to your smartphones, etc. Facebook puts pictures of missing kids on there, of course. And the biggest innovation is DNA. DNA, I always called it, I would think I was the first guy to call it the fingerprint of the 21st century. There was no DNA in, in when Adam was murdered. Otis Tool became a suspect. He said he decapitated Adam in the back seat of the car they had in custody. They lost that piece of carpet. There was no DNA. So in the old days, you sent it from lab to lab, tested it with luminol, et cetera, et cetera. And Louis Free was director of the FBI at one time. He said, John, if the Hollywood police hadn't lost that piece of carpet, we'd have known in two minutes if it was Adam's 
blood on that car, so I had to wait 27 years to find that out. But now with familial DNA, touch DNA, we're, we're proven who the real bad guys are unequivocally. And getting good guys out of prison. Absolutely. Getting, I've always said that, that every death penalty case that anybody that's on death row now, if there's DNA anywhere in that case, Get out. needs to be tested. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.